All right, so as you can see, the X-Force bundles and X-Force items are in full force. Not only that, the mashups have all returned. But I'm a little disappointed. They cut half my item shop from last night in half. There was a skin I wanted, the Vertex skin, all orange. He's gone. He's completely gone. I'm so mad about that. But this is a review of the X-Force gear bundle and the X-Force outfit bundles. So as you can see, I already purchased both of them, and it shows the real amount. This one says 4,000 V-Bucks, and this one says 4,500. But that's not exactly what you have to pay. So this skin bundle is 3,000, so you save 1,500 V-Bucks. And this one's 2,500, so you save a little bit here as well. I don't know why it shows the real price and not what you actually paid, but it makes it look like I spent way more V-Bucks than I did. This says 8,500 in total, when in reality I spent 5,500. So I'm going to be showing all these skins for you guys in game so we can see what they look like, see how they act in game, see if you want to purchase them. And then I'm going to answer the question, is it worth spending 5,500 V-Bucks? That is a lot, especially in this day and age when there's a huge pandemic going on. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people don't have a lot of money. I was hoping both these bundles would be merged into one for like 3,000 V-Bucks, not separate for 5,500. But in order to get that much, you'd have to either spend, well, you'd have to spend $40 for 5,000 plus another thousand. So basically 50 bucks, or you'd have to buy this one for $100 just to afford these. That's a lot of money. And if you're just a little kid with no money, $40 or $100 or $50, my goodness, whose parents are gonna say yes to that? Except for me, right, Jack? You gotta say yes, buddy. You can't just shake the head, they can't hear you. So Jack is here. He's going to do the review with me as well. All right, so let's check them out in the locker, and then I'll show you them in game. By the way, if you want the X-Force Deadpool skin style, I just did a video on that. You can check that out. I will link it in the outro. All right, so we're going to start with Cable. It says Season Soldier and Master Battle Strategist. So this actually is the comic book Cable. In fact, these are all the comic book character skins. They're not what they look like in the Deadpool movies. And these guys are also part of X-Men. So Jack, what do you think about this guy? First of all, I like that he's got the P90 in his hand. That's pretty sweet. He's chunky. He's very chunky. He's a chunky monster. Look at those biceps. Holy smokes. So his back bling is actually the only character with selectable styles. You can put hood up and hood down. This is hood down. I like the color scheme. The blue and gold looks pretty nice. And one arm is silver. I don't like the fact that this is what we're going to be seeing. The cape takes up probably 90% of his body there. You can't yeah. see any of his back, but the eye looks pretty cool. I bet that glows in game, and he's got some canisters on his arm there. So again, here's the two selectable styles, hood down, and here is hood up. And this just even covers more of his body. And again, this is what you would be seeing from your perspective. What do you think of this one, Jack? I hate it. You hate it? This is Jack's least favorite. All right, so let's just take that off real quick and see what he looks like. Yeah, I think this is much better. Yeah. Or you could find a better back bling to run with him. But I guess if you want to run the actual combo, it's the cape. All right, next up is Domino, and hers just says, make your own luck. This is a pretty nice skin. Do you like this one, Jackie? Uh, kind of. She's got a very unique face. I love the holsters on her sides there. Those are pretty sweet. So she's got massive guns in her back bling as well. But I love the color scheme. She's very dark. She's almost like a pasty white on her face. I think that's paint. But I love the dark green, the teal, and the white. It's very smooth. And her boots are almost a, a darker green and black combined. Very nice. It matches her hair. So this is probably my second favorite skin in the bundle. But Jack says he likes this one a little bit as well. Pretty sweet. You can see again the back bling. Matches nicely. Not bad for Domino. All right, so last but not least, we have Psylocke, and it says Telekinetically Enhanced Master Martial Artist. And not only does she look the coolest out of all three skins, she she's... hovers in an awesome pose. Jack, what do you think? She's the coolest. Look at her foot. kind of glitches through the little sash on her. Yeah. So I love her hair. I love her face. Everything about this, the dark purple, the blackish color. Her back bling is pretty cool. It's like a giant samurai sword with a purple sash on it, which matches the one around her waist. This is a very, very unique and awesome looking skin. If you could only buy one, me and Jack would probably recommend Psylocke. 
Right, Jack? Mm -hmm. I'd say her, and then domino, and then cable. Yeah. Now, as for pickaxes, we've got the probability dagger, beat the odds. These are nothing really special. I'll have to see them in game to see what they actually look like. They, they almost look like they could glow a little bit. We got the side blade. That pickaxe is the best. Jack says this is the best. I can't wait to see how she grips this in game. Definitely very animated. Yeah. And speaking of animated, Cable's unstoppable force looks like it's got a lot of animation going on. So of the pickaxes, I'd say side blade's the best, then unstoppable force, and then the probability dagger. Same. Just because you agree, just because these both have animations. But yeah. we're gonna check them out in game because there's always little secret things that you can find. So we're gonna check that out. And last but not least, we got the Psy Rider. This one just looks incredible. I heard it's unique in game as well. What does it say for the for the description? Let's see. Gliding. Harness the power of telekinesis. I wonder if you ride it. You think? Or does she grab those little handles on the bottom? It's basically a telekinetic butterfly. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. So we're going to check that out. All right, so let's look at all of them in game. We're going to start with Cable. All right, so Cable is pretty thick. We're running the one without the hood up. Let's see how he looks on the Dragacorn. I do like his color scheme, though. And this cape definitely has the weird physics to it. Look, it's like stuck on his head, his fat head. There, it dropped down. Definitely has got the gliding, swirling physics that most capes do in the game. Yeah, I really like his comic book color scheme, though. Wait. All right, so as I thought, he's very chunky. And look when you run. You basically, as I mentioned before, can't see much of his body at all. You see his gray hair, part of his arm and some of his boots, but look how much of the body surface that cape takes up. It's huge. So I would definitely recommend not running that cape because you really can't see his awesome color scheme. And here's the pickaxe. So look how much it glows. Oh, wait a minute. Look at the canisters on his arm. Let me go in the shade here. They glow too. Oh yeah, check that out. Okay, so that, mm, I like that. He's basically got a little reactivity on his shoulders there. Can you see that in the light? You can see it just a little bit. So it's nighttime right now, but for sure in the shade. And look how much the pickaxe glows. I like this pickaxe. So this is what it sounds like. So yeah, I definitely would take that cape off. And it looks like a little bit on his chest glows as well, that X. All right, I'm going to do the work it out emote so we can see if his eyes glow. He's going to spin around towards us in a second. Oh, wow. That the whole front sweet. of his face glows. You like that, Jack? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, man, I don't know. I really like this skin, Jack. I love how it glows. I love how thick he is. <laughs> I don't really have any favorite thick characters like this, but... Yeah, I, I would totally take the cape off, though. But I love the pickaxe. I love the glowing everywhere on him. That is super nice. Let's see if it does anything special when you... No. No? He already tried it out? So both sides are clearly glowing. Like, look look when he swings it back and forth. You can see that both sides glow that deep mm -hmm. red. I like this skin. I thought this would be my least favorite, but cool. All right, so here is Domino, right in the dragon corn. Pretty nice. Jack wants me to do this real quick. He likes seeing my character get spammed. My torture. Okay, so I might have to change my mind. We haven't really fully reviewed Domino yet, but I was very impressed with the cable skin, and so far I'm not seeing anything unique. Let's see. So again, this is nighttime. Her hair is pretty nice. I mean, I do like the color scheme. Color scheme is great. Pickaxes don't do anything special. Do you see anything unique about them, Jack? Mm. Here's the sound they make. Going to the shade. Yeah, uh, okay. Wait. They, like, glow a little bit. Yeah, I guess a little. Let's chop a tree and see if... Still looks sweet. Man, there's just like no unique factor to her. Let's do the work it out and see if anything on the front of her glows or does anything special. Flip around, Domino. Ooh, Wait, okay. her belt? It, that yeah, looks sweet. Just the belt buckle. Looks sweet though. I do like her hair. That little gray piece on the front is very nice. Yeah. There's just not 
There's not anything unique about her. Just Let's see not if those. That much Let me grab a weapon. See if anything happens with the back bling when we swap from a weapon. I think I'm gonna have to change my rankings, Jackie. I think the cable skin is better than Domino, and I'm not a fan of male skins at all. But the fact that he had three things glow about him, and this skin is just... I just like the color scheme on this one. I'll say that. I do love the darkness and the light blue. It matches very, very nicely. Go reboot your teammate. What'd you say? Go reboot your teammate. Reboot my teammate? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see if anything happens when we get a kill with her. Do, do. Eh, we should try with an actual gun. It's hard for me to see. No. No. Well, we kind of figured she wasn't reactive at all, but... Yeah, kind of disappointed with this one. I mean, she's a great female skin. If it was just her by herself and the other two skins weren't released, I would say, man, this is a great skin. I would totally buy this. But knowing that the other two are just way cooler, if you can only afford one or two of them, I probably wouldn't get this one. And the pickaxes are just blah! I hate the dual-wielded pickaxes, and they're not unique, they don't glow, they're just a blue color. I will say, again, her whole combo matches very nicely. The pickaxes do go great with the back bling, the back bling goes great with the skin, so all that is good. It's just not, I don't know, it's not doing it for me. Let's check out Psylocke. Okay, here we go, let's see what the Psy Rider looks like. Holy smokes, Do Jack. It again. Did you see that animation? Do it again. Holy smokes. Oh, wow. That's sweet. Holy cow. She just, bam, fist pumps it in the air. This is the best glider in the game. Yeah. Look at that color. My goodness, Jackie. Let me do that again. What if it fist pumped the crap out of this? Bam. What do you think about that? I like it. That is magnificent. Yes, definitely. If you can only buy one skin, pow, it's buy this, this one. one. And look, her face even glows from it. Good golly, Miss Molly. That is awesome. Wow. Okay, so the glider itself is worth however many V-Bucks it costs. That is awesome. That's ah, sweet. look at the pickaxe, Jackie! Break a llama with it. Wow. Break a llama with it. This is so unique. Look how she runs with it. That's sweet. Dude, this skin is amazing. Let's see how it does break. Yeet, yeet, yeet. I love this. It's I love this skin. It just back and forth. Did we get any enemy bots? Yeah, we did. We're going to chase this guy down and pickaxe him. Is he drinking a mini? Yeah. No. Let's see if there's any unique... Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Buck, buck. No, nothing special about that. Take a look on this time. Wow, though. I mean, this... Oh, you get minis. This pickaxe is sweet. Yeah. I feel like it almost acts like it should be dual-wielded. I don't know, because her other hand gets all weird when she pickaxes. This is pretty cool, though. All right, let's talk about the skin. It's just... Everything about this skin is unique. So look how magnificent the purple sash is. I really enjoy that. It matches the back bling nice. Her hair is actually purple. Did I mention that in the original locker part? Oh, no. I thought it was black. I love this color scheme. Purple and black is just great. You know, I just wanted to see what this... Nah, I tried this wrap. I just wanted to see what it looks like. It kind of matches the pickaxe, but... And the glider. Yeah, but... I don't know if it actually matches. I need like a darker purple wrap. Maybe the Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Because remember in the last video? What? Although uh, this doesn't look bad. What happened in the last video? The camo. They go well with the skin. Oh, yeah. Look at this, though. Hands down, the best skin. Ever. I don't know about ever, but in this bundle. So if you can only get one, I would definitely get her pickaxe, this skin, and her glider. All right, so there you go. That was all three of the characters. So I'm changing my ratings. I say Psylocke is the best, and then Cable, and then Domino. So let's talk about should you buy the bundles. As I mentioned, 5,500 V-Bucks is a lot. And with everything going on in the world today, you probably don't have that kind of money to spare. So based on my personal preference, and Mr. Jackers too, right, Jackie? Yeah. 
I would say if you can only afford one single set, definitely, definitely go with Psylocke. Yeah. So let's see how much that would cost you. That's fifteen hundred for the skin itself. And then fifteen. And the back bling. Then the side blade itself is twelve hundred, and the side rider is also twelve hundred. So that's three thousand nine hundred V bucks. That's still what? pretty expensive. Hmm. I would say you could just get. I don't know, maybe just the Psy Rider. If you can only afford one 1200 thing, the Psy Rider's probably the best. And then the Psy Blade. I mean, you could get away with not buying Psylocke. It definitely matches her, but I'd say if you can only buy two things, then definitely get these two things. I don't know, if you have even less V-Bucks than that, definitely go with Cable, because he was pretty sweet, and his pickaxe is only 800 So that's a little cheaper. Of course, the bundles are the best money saver, but at the same time, they're so expensive. Like I said, they should have just made them all into one bundle. This one and this one for maybe 3,000 or 3,500 V-Bucks. But, you know, they got to make money too. And all these skins are super nice. Definitely, if you had the V-Bucks, if you had 5,500, I'd say it's worth it. But even on their own, they're just so expensive. By the way, I did a full review of all the Deadpool mashups. If you want to see that video, I will link it in the comment section. Maybe even the outro. I have to... Maybe even the outro. I'll have to see when I edit it. But that's all there is to it. Those are my thoughts on both bundles for the X-Force outfits and the X-Force pickaxes and gliders. Definitely unique stuff. The Psylocke is probably the best. Super unique skin. Everything about her is unique. The glider, the pickaxe, great. Definitely surprised by Cable and definitely let down by Domino. So let me know in the comments, what are you getting, if anything? And if you can only afford one set, which one are you going to get? I'm very curious as to what everyone thinks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to help me and my daughter out by using my supporter creator code. If you weren't aware, my daughter has a disability. And whenever Disney World opens back up, every bit of money I earn from my supporter creator code goes to that fund to take her and my entire family back to Disney World. Tabor Time is my supporter creator code, as you can see here. If you purchase any of these items, don't forget to use it.